All right, guys. So the topic today is going to be rewriting our belief systems. Now, this has been a massive topic that has really impacted my life and changed the way I look at my reality. Ultimately, what this is, just to give you a, a, a little more in-depth structure to what rewriting the belief systems can look like. A perfect example of this is whenever I was a child, my parents would tell me, hey, you better pray, Christian. You better pray to God. You better pray to the higher source. Pray to whoever it is or they're going to punish you. God's going to punish you. This person's going to punish you, whatever it is. And it instilled fear in me. And I started to believe that going into my adult life. And that instilled fear. That fear, I was praying. I remember five, six years ago, I mean, I mean, close to that, I was still praying out of fear. I was praying like, God, please, like, don't let this happen to me. Don't let me lose this job. Don't let me never play basketball again. Don't let, I was just out of fear. It was just out of fear I was praying. And ultimately where that came from was my parents. My parents programmed, programmed my mind to think that God would punish me or the higher source, whatever it is you believe in. I don't want to get too in depth with the whole God thing. Um, it ultimately, see, I don't like that one. <laughs> All right, guys, so this week we got rewriting our belief systems. And I hope that you've been watching the other videos too as well because it's gonna be able to give you more practice, right? With the breath works, with the meditations, with the journaling practices, the daily affirmations. It's just gonna get you more connected and feeling like you're a part of something, right? You can actually feel like you're a part of something higher than yourself. And that's ultimately my goal in this is, is that you can see different aspects of yourself in this. Okay, so this week, rewriting our belief systems. What this can look like, I just wanna give you a, a quick example. Whenever I was younger, my parents would tell me, hey Chachi, my, my nickname was Chachi. They would say, Chachi, if you don't pray at night, or if you don't pray, or if you don't go to church, God is gonna punish you, or the higher source will punish you, or whoever it is would punish me. So growing up into my adult life, I was praying out of fear. I was praying out of fear, which is not the best way to go about when you are wanting to ask for something, when you're wanting to manifest something into your life. And what I started to notice when I started to realize that those beliefs that I was believing in weren't even my own beliefs. They were my parents' beliefs. So that is what I want to hit on right now whenever I'm talking about rewriting our belief systems. And I want you to ask yourself this question. Ask yourself this question. Do these things I believe in currently, in this life right now, if there's things that you believe in in this life, do you actually believe in those things? Or did someone tell you that you should believe in those things? Or do you believe in it because you maybe saw it in a book? Or you saw a quote? Or you heard someone whisper it? Or you heard it from an ex-partner? Or you heard it from a child? It doesn't matter where you heard it. Do you actually believe in those things? And is it fulfilling your life right now? Okay? Do you actually believe in the things that you believe in? Now, I'm not saying to question every single thing that you got going on. It's good to believe in something. I still believe in higher sources. I believe I should have a healthy body to be able to be with my daughter. I believe I should have good communication with my partner in order to elevate the relationship. It's good to have those types of beliefs. I'm talking about the beliefs that were programmed inside of us whenever we were children. Okay, the really, really deep, deep, impactful ones when it comes to that type of work. Now, what I mean by that is that whenever there's different types of things that come up for you, whether, let's say this, let's say you're going through a challenge with your partner, okay? Just an example. She avoids and she disconnects from you whenever y'all are starting to go through this challenge. What does that bring up inside of you? Maybe you feel abandoned. Maybe you feel rejected. Maybe you feel not seen or heard, okay? Question yourself. Do I actually believe that my partner is abandoning me right now? Do I actually believe that my partner is rejecting me right now? Or is this something that I saw in my parents when I was younger that told me that I should believe that? Maybe I saw my mom avoid my dad. And so now that's the way I think that I should be able to receive love, right? Those different types of things is what I'm talking about when it comes to rewriting your belief systems. 
It's amazing to have these experiences, to go through relationships, go through heartbreak, have a child, buy a house, like the whole thing, right? It's amazing to have these life experiences, the intention behind it. What are you actually believing in when you're doing these things? Because you can have these goals, you can have these visions, you can have whatever it is in this life. If there's no clarity on the why you're doing it, or what it is that you believe in, or what the vision is for, it can seem empty. It can seem like you're lost. It can seem like, what's the purpose? Why am I doing this? And I know I've been in that place energetically. Why am I doing this? Why do I still have this attachment to wanting to play basketball even though I tore my ACL and I can't play anymore? Why do I have this attachment to my father not being here for my entire life? Why do I still have this attachment to having an imposter syndrome of wondering if the work that I'm doing now is even good enough, if I'm good enough, right? It's not the people that are around us right now that are doing this to us. It's the things that we haven't worked on yet in our past. Now, I'm not saying to get consumed by the things in your past. By being conscious, it's bringing awareness to what's happening inside your body in the present moment. Just bringing awareness and allowing the things to happen, allowing every single thing to happen inside your body, right? There's been times in our life and there's been so many moments, especially with the people that I work with that I see, they wanna stay away from the anger they want to stay away from the sadness. And this is me included. I want to stay away from the judgment. I want to stay away from the ego. I want to stay away from feeling jealous. I want to stay away from feeling scarcity, from feeling lack, whatever it is, right? And by staying away from those things, trying to push those things away, it's only going to start magnetizing toward you, towards you more. These things will continue to get shown to you until you can appropriately work on them and adjust. Life does not get easier. Life does not get easier. We just get stronger as humans, okay? There's gonna be challenges every step of the way. You know, I, I hope and I have faith that, <laughs> you know, the day that I die, everything will be balanced out. And I have, I have full faith in that, that the day that I die, that everything will be balanced where I can really meet myself and realize that I am everything and I am nothing at the same time, okay? But why wait? Why wait until you're on your deathbed? Why wait until your body is broken down, when you're disintegrating, when your loved ones are asking you, why didn't you tell me this? When your loved ones are asking you, wait, why did you do, why did, why'd you do that, right? Do the work now. Be present with yourself now. Be aware of what's happening inside your body and be aware of your surroundings and what it's bringing inside of you. If you have triggers coming up daily, if you have challenges coming up daily, if there's a consistent thing that's not serving your mind that you think about constantly, and I know what some of you who are watching this video know what I mean. I know I've had that ex-partner that I was thinking about before that would just control my mind. She had real estate in my head and I just could not get her out of it. I know I've thought about my father on multiple occasions and he was owning real estate in my head and I couldn't do anything about it. I was only hurting myself. You're only doing yourself a disservice by not acknowledging those things that live inside of you that aren't serving you. Okay, and this is your chance to rewrite your belief system, to rewrite the story of what you want in this life, not what someone told you that you should have in this life. What do you want in this life? Okay, so during this week, what I want you guys to do, I'm gonna have a series of questions that'll be underneath this video uh, for you guys to start asking yourself. And there'll be different breathwork techniques in this too as well to start calming the nervous system when you guys have these emotions come up when you start questioning the things that you believe in. And things may come up, it may be very confronting because I know when I started questioning myself, when it came to, you know, what's a good example for me? One of the big ones. One of the big ones for me was how I would treat my partner when it came to the manipulation and the control. How I would treat my partner when it came to the manipulation and control? Because that's what I saw my father do to my mother, was manipulate and control. So I believed that that was the way that I could show love. So that's what I did. It's not true. It's not true at all, okay? So that, that share that I just had right there, that's the type of depth that I want you to go into and go even deeper, right? 
Now, you don't have to share everything on the online community chat, anything like that. This is your own journey. This is your own space and your own container for yourself. If you are wanting guidance and support, maybe you have questions, ask those in the online community. It's a wonderful way to be able to connect with yourself and get a different lens. That's the point of a community, a point of a tribe, is to have reflections. Have reflections on what it is that you're going through to work on yourself even more, okay? So, like always, guys, find joy in this journey and make sure, make sure that you guys have intention into what it is that you're going through in this course, okay? So, if there's people that you have that you want to start doing this type of work with, get them on board with this too as well, okay? If there's certain questions that you have, shoot them over to me and let's get it. Okay, I'm, I'm really, really excited to be able to give this type of work and this, this guidance out. Okay, this isn't something that I, I just, it, it, it doesn't just come up randomly for me to be able to give this type of work out. This is something that I was very intentional with to be able to provide a safety net for people to really fall back into, right? There's a lot of, a peop there's a lot of people out there that I've worked with that felt so alone. I felt like they weren't seen, that they were being judged, like the whole thing, that we're just in deep, deep depression and all they were looking for was community or someone to talk to. So I'm just letting you know that I'm here for you. I'm here for all of it. I signed the contract with you by even making this video and you signed the contract with me by even wanting to do this course. So I'm looking forward to seeing what unfolds in this and make sure you do the challenges that are for this week and look out for the group coaching call that's gonna be end of this week too as well.